Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. Thank you so much for deciding to subscribe to this channel. I really do appreciate all of the love and support that I receive from my channel. Thank y'all, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we're gonna hop right into the download that I received. Someone feels like they are unlovable. They feel like they try to be confirmation. They feel like they try to tend to the needs of others. They put others before themselves. They feel like they sacrifice what they want and need for others. But for some reason, they feel like they don't receive that love in return and they are starting to feel like they're unlovable. Okay, so we're going to start out with an angel message for this energy I'm picking up on. Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know regarding this download that I received at this time? Please and thank you. Let's start with an angel message. Holy Spirit, can we get one card or whatever card, Holy Spirit, that you would like for us to receive at this time? Start off the reading with some encouragement, Holy Spirit. What is it that you would like for us to know? From you through me at this time, please and thank you to this person who feels like they are unlovable. Holy Spirit, what would you like for them to know? Let's do one more shuffle, you all. What is the angel message for them at this time, please and thank you, Holy Spirit? What would you like for them to know? Here, this individual. This could be a masculine. We have recovery. Somebody, grandma showing up. Okay. The angel of recovery. Heal your mind, body, and soul. If your bodily health is faltering, ask the angel of recovery to bring you healing. If you feel hurt or resentment or are, are experiencing pain, shock, or disappointment, you can become disconnected from who you truly are. Allow the angel of recovery to help you clear away harmful and draining energy and bring mental and physical healing. Recovery is a process and whether your pain is physical or emotional, you can aid that process from the inside out as well as the outside in. Never underestimate the powerful connection between your mind and your body. Replace negative lifestyle habits with positive self-care and toxic thoughts with unconditional love. And if your heart is breaking, remember that it has the power to heal itself and to grow wiser and stronger in the process. Okay, so this was a, an angel message that was right on time for what I was picking up. Somebody feels like they're not lovable, but the card says... If your heart is breaking, remember that it has the power to heal itself and to grow wiser and stronger in the process. That love that you are expecting to receive from others, you have to pour that, that energy back into yourself. Pour it back into loving yourself, okay? Let's just see what the tarot wants us to know. I feel like somebody grandma is just like, you know, we here, we love you. We've been watching and keeping over you, keeping you away from a lot of bullshit here lately. So you got to know that you lovable. You know, this somebody grandma now, okay? But you need to regenerate yourself from this pity party you having in a sense because we stronger people than that. That's what I'm hearing. Look at everything that you've made it through. Mm. Let's see, Holy Spirit, what else would you like for us to know? Four of Swords, definitely need to quiet your mind so that you can heal your body and your soul. You can recover. The hell, Four of Swords is recovery, okay? It's time for you to pull back possibly trying to be and do everything for everybody and heal yourself, take time for yourself, retreat, 
go into some sort of solitude or sanctuary. So you may have to check yourself into a spa or take a spontaneous vacation away where people can't access you, where you only have to be responsible for yourself. This is how you're going to heal your mind, body, and your soul. Two of Wands, it's time for you to plan an exit. Whoever I'm picking up on, you feel like you are unlovable, but you're not showing enough love to yourself. That's what this is here. You're hoping that if you keep being this sweet, lovable person that'll do everything for everybody, that people are going to show you that in return, but you're not getting that reciprocity. You're not. King of Pentacles. I, I was picking up that it was a masculine. You are some sort of foundation for a lot of people. You keep a lot of people going with this King of Pentacles energy. But there's nobody helping you keep going. And it's time for you to say, uh-uh. No, that's not my responsibility. No, I, I don't have to take care of that. No, I don't have to worry about if you going to make it or not because I'm barely making it. It's time to be apathetic for sure. To stop worrying about other people's needs and placing their needs before your own King of Pentacles. It's time to go in another direction with this chariot energy here. You could have, you could be an earth sign. You could also have cancer somewhere prominently placed in your chart here. You, you're seeing though, you're realizing that you've been sacrificing yourself to be and do what everybody else wants you to fucking do. And it's time for you to do what's going to be best for you. Because see, you doing everything for everybody and not getting that back in return, that make you think that you unlovable, that something wrong with you. Hell no. It ain't nothing wrong with you, King of Pentacles. It's something wrong with these people that you showing all this love to and not getting it back in return. And it's time for you to end that karmic cycle. Ten of Wands is right behind this, this world card here, okay? It's time for you to release all of these burdens that you have taken on. It may be family here for this King of Pentacles who is... Always got their hand out, always need something, always want something. But you can't get them to do right or cooperate. That's what I'm getting with this Five of Swords. It may be even a feminine here with this Nine of Pentacles that you want to separate yourself from, but you're still feeling financially responsible for. Because she coming out as this King of Pentacles match. I feel like I'm talking to him directly. This Nine of Pentacles is coming out as this King of Pentacles match. I feel like this is someone that he has tried to separate himself from. You didn't try to separate yourself from this person. From the financial responsibility. And it's, you've, grown, you've grown to resent this person. But they're still doing something here that is causing you to feel financially responsible for them. Clarify, Holy Spirit. We have Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So whatever association you have with this Nine of Pentacles, it seems like it was always part of the plan for you to give to this person. And maybe you're realizing that you're very disappointed in your choice to be with this person, but Whatever you done, you're locked into with them now, that was always part of the plan for them, that you would be in a position where you have to give to them. So that's, that's one thing. And I feel like this person ain't showing you the love. Ace of Pentacles, because look, that's all they want is the money. Okay, whoever this is, he's very abundant. You're very abundant. And I feel like a lot of this love that you show to people is financially based. And that's also why you haven't been getting true, authentic love in return because it's how, it's how you are showing love in a way. And it's this, this spoiling I'm picking up on. 
of others, whether they're family, friends, lovers, whoever. You're not requiring a higher level of connection with these people because you're giving them what you want. You're making the connection be transactional almost. 10, 10, and that's what has to end for sure, okay? Because they, they don't know anything past a transactional interaction with you. That's something I'm seeing here for this King of Pentacles. So it's not, it's, this is something I'm feeling you will, and hearing that you're gonna discover when you go into this recovery retreat mode, okay? You may travel off somewhere here with this Two of Wands and this World card and this Chariot card for sure. But it's also how you deal with people, which is why you're not getting what you are expecting in return. You know, some people don't give a fuck about money, okay? They're not worried about how much you can give them, how much you can offer them. They want to see how you interact with them, how you socialize with them, how you communicate with them, you know, 1111. Okay. So it's the type of people you're dealing with. It's how you're dealing with them. And if you want to receive true love, King of Pentacles, you've got to adjust for Pentacles, how you handle and deal with people, pull back some of that money and you're going to start seeing some things. Okay, and I feel like when you go in another direction, you are going to pull back financially from these people. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Magician, that's the action that you plan to take. High Priestess, I don't feel like they're aware of this action. This ain't giving nothing about magic here. This is giving secret action that you plan to take to manifest the life that you want. And you want a life filled with people that you know love you for you, not because of who you are and what type of money you can spend on them. And that's facts. Now, whoever I'm picking up on, that's your energy at this time. They're not going to be ready for this retreat that you're about to look. Five of Wands came out here. This community that you've been given to and helping out and making sure they straight and paying for every damn thing. They blessed, okay? The sign just came on the schoolboy cues, blessed, okay? They, they gonna shit a brick, though, when you go in another direction and go on this journey that you're about to embark upon, this healing journey. Recovery is a process, and whether your pain is physical or emotional, you can aid that process from the inside out as well as the outside in, okay? So that this is going to be a physical recovery possibly because you, you may have been experiencing health problems, high blood pressure, different shit like that, trying to deal with everybody, please everybody, be on everybody's timeline, okay? But you are also going to heal yourself mentally when you relieve yourself of that responsibility of worrying about everybody else's problems and making sure that everybody else stay blessed. It's time for you to bless yourself and boss up with this emperor card here, justice right behind that, okay? It's time for you to go into a recovery mode that's going to be beneficial to you and only you selfish mode they'll be okay i promise you it'll be all right like he say okay they're gonna be in a tower but they ass is gonna have to learn either to keep crashing and falling or get into a better mindset about things you know what i'm saying have 1414 14, have better morals and values Exhibit better character. Be wiser with their money. You know, somebody definitely need to practice budgeting skills here. And they're going to learn real quick when you pull back this Ace of Pentacles now. And you go see who remains solid. That's what he just said. He, you go see who remains solid. You're going to see who you truly were expecting love from 
and you weren't going to get it in return and you're going to see who truly love and fuck with you, whether you giving them money or not. When you move on to calmer water, sir, six of swords, you're going to see, and it's going to be heartbreaking with this three of swords. When you realize that this nine of pentacles in particular didn't love you like you may have thought she did at one point, because it's back out here. This woman had a plan to be tied to you financially, and you're going to realize that that was always the plan, 1515. But this is something you need to learn as well. You need to realize that that Knight of Wands feeling that you was feeling for her is what made you, made you jump to a lover's with the two of cups. Now, because I had just seen Knight of Wands, and I didn't pull it. That's why I said Knight of Wands. But it would have been falling right up under this Knight of Pentacles. You thought that Knight of Wands energy was the lovers with the Two of Cups. And that's what you gave her in return. And you're seeing. Because you and this person are estranged. Whether y'all was married and y'all separated and about to get a divorce. Or y'all already divorced and you having to pay her some alimony or something. You're seeing that this person wasn't right. Devil then came out here. I'm trying to tell you. You done figured it out that this person only married you possibly for money and opportunity. This person only got with you because they knew that you were abundant and would take care of them and that you love them. King of Cups. Okay. So it's, it's a number of energies here I'm picking up that you are going to retract yourself from that you feel are, is, has not been showing you love. Okay, divine masculine, because I'm feeling you put you out here as the king of pentacles, the king of cups, the emperor, justice. You're definitely a divine masculine, the ace of pentacles, magician with the high priestess. That's you too. You move in silence. You take action that everybody not going to know about. And I'm telling you, it's going to be a tower when these people realize that you have become selfish and that you are focusing on loving you, taking action that shows love to you, that makes you happy, that makes your wishes come true. You know, 1717, I'm picking up that. Because I was picking that up when I saw 1111. I picked it up with this lover's two of cups. I feel like you're realizing who you thought was your twin flame. Your divine counterpart is not. Okay. And you taking that loss. With this star card, but you you've awakened to the truth. You have faith and hope that things are going to be balanced and aligned in your favor with this death card because you've awakened. You've awakened to possibly who your true past life soulmate is, who your true divine counterpart is. Okay, that's also what this community is going to be upset about because I feel like some of this community benefits from you through this nine of pentacles. Some of these associations, possibly even people you call family, are related to this Nine of Pentacles. Clarify. Son with the Nine of Wands. There's some children here. So I may be talking to an older person here. But we have Son with the Nine of Wands. So there are a number of people who are going to feel the pressure of you possibly having a new life a Ten of Pentacles with this Six of Cups, whoever this is, because they over there looking like, what the fuck? He done took that money over there to that other, who is that? Okay, definitely hearing that shit. Nine of Wands falling right up under the tower, child. They gonna be upset. They're may, this emperor may have someone else that they want to commit to. They may have realized who their, tw their true twin flame is. Here. But I don't, they the sun with the six of cups now. Ten of pentacles and then came out as the empress, child. Okay, so this, this emperor, you, you worried about being unlovable because you've been around some karmic energies who have only helped catapult you to your divine feminine who gonna love you. I almost said something, I ain't gonna say that, but she gonna love, love you infinitely and abundantly. Okay, you ain't never gonna have to question her love. You ain't never gonna have to question if you are lovable 
to this Empress Divine Feminine, this Sun, Six of Cups here. So if your aim is to go towards this person and make her happy and partner with her, then that's what you need to do, sir. That's what it looks like to me here. Moon. Moon and came out here. Because you got hidden enemies in all these low vibrational partnerships that you've been keeping afloat with your pinnacles. Okay? It's time to move on, move away. Swift movement may be required. This is definitely not nothing that you would need to take time to do. Because these people going to figure out how to balance shit in their favor while you taking time on how to move away from them. It's just time to turn your back. Have knowledge and foresight about what the future is going to hold if you keep trying to show love to people who are unlovable, who refuse to be loved accurately by you. The, I'm telling you, the majority of your connections, these connections that you are in the Five of Cups about, they are all transactional based. That's what I'm really picking up. Your money is what they love. Okay? Your money made this nine of pentacles come. Not you. And you know that. But baby, this empress don't want nobody but you. And you're going to get that response you're looking for every time that you intimate with her. I'm telling you. Like, it's something about you feeling your power... You you always had the power now, but you were looking for evidence of that power in these different relationships, and you were not seeing evidence of that power because of your interaction with these people, who you was interacting with, and how you was interact, interacting with them. And you releasing them is what's bossing you up to that true divine power, this emperor justice energy. You being in this eight of cups energy is what is going to release this stronghold that you feel, this grip that you feel they have on your life right now. Because they, they're truly having a wayward effect on how you feel about yourself and the Holy Spirit just really wants you to look deeper into what really what's really going on here. Look what came out. <laughs> look what came out, die. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the confirmation. Seven of Cups to the Hermit. You are under some form of illusion about what being lovable is. And if you are lovable, the Holy Spirit wants you to look deeper with this Hermit card. You could have Virgo on your chart somewhere. Somewhere confirmation. Dang, whenever that be happening, that's been confirmation lately, child. Anything else for this divine masculine Holy Spirit? Knight of Wands. I'm telling you, it's something that you're going to have to do that is going to have to be unexpected, spontaneous, spur of the moment. It's not nothing that you need to try to plan out. Because if you try to plan it out, your plan is going to get thwarted. Thwarted is the word. It ain't that you need to try to tell nobody and inform them of. You've received all the insight and guidance that you need from the universe about how you need to move. You've gotten all the inspiration you need about who is your ideal queen, your ideal counterpart. And it's time for you to choose to invest in this Queen of Cups. Look at this. She coming out as the Sun, Six of Cups, Empress, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. Ten of Pentacles came out with her energy as well. Man, my ears is itching the left and the right one, child. They be talking, boy, Holy Spirit, good and bad. Mm-hmm. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? They ain't stopping nothing, though. Any final messages? Look, they ain't, ain't nobody stopping this King of Wands, Emperor. He didn't, I think he out here is every king except for the King of Swords with the Emperor and a whole bunch of other shit. Magician, High Priestess, the Hermit. Okay, ain't nobody stopping him. Queen of Wands, Page of Wands to the King of Wands. He didn't been told spiritually. 
that he need to go be with his divine feminine. And that's what this man is about to do, Will of Fortune. But I do feel like, again, a recovery process is in, in, it's in order here. But I also feel like this masculine, part of your recovery process is going to occur when you get with your divine feminine. A lot of what you would try to heal from that would take a long time on your own, once you make this spontaneous decision to go towards her, a lot of healing will occur. Look, four of wands, I'm trying to tell you, your healing, your recovery is in your divine feminine. You don't need to go off nowhere and have no retreat by yourself. If you want to go retreat to a spa or go somewhere off wherever, you need to take your divine feminine with you. That's what it's looking like to me. Okay. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want us to know at this time? Please and thank you. Page of Swords. You've been trying to decide, looking at her, these people you, you're contemplating leaving behind. And I feel like you have all the t intelligence you need to do what you need to do here. That's what I see. But I'm going to drop the mic. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.